Shalom my dear brothers and sisters. I have yet a powerful word for you. The word is forget about the past mistakes. The disappointments. Forget about them and focus on God. Because God is doing something new in your lives. Don't miss this opportunity because time and chance happen to them all. Don't miss your time. Don't miss your chance. My brothers and sisters, forget about that past. Those toxic relationships, those horrible experiences, those days where you had to await in pain, forget about them. The times when you were falsely accused, even if it was yesterday, forget about it. Even if it was just two hours ago, just forget about it. Focus on God. Focus on the calling of God upon your life. On the task that is ahead of you. Don't focus on the things that are going on in your life. On the chaos. On the crowd. Focus on Jesus. I want to read to you a very powerful scripture that is going to encourage you. The scripture is in the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 to 21. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 to 21. And it reads, Do not remember the former things now consider the things nor nor consider the things of old behold i will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall you not know it i will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert the beast of the field will honor me the jackals and the ostriches because i give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people my chosen the people i have formed for myself they shall declare my praise what a powerful scripture that the scripture says do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old. Do not remember. I know some of your minds want to remember. You want to sit down and think about those experiences. Scripture clearly tells you, do not remember. Do not remember the former things. Nor consider the things of old. Because what is old is old. Leave it behind. Don't bring it into the new year. Don't bring it into the new experience. Don't bring it into the new job. Not even friends that were old. Some of you, the friends that you had, yes, some of them, maybe they were good people, but their uh, lifestyle was not good for you. So don't bring them into new things. God says in his scripture, in his word, that's this is what God says. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. The things that afflicted you, don't consider them. Do not consider them. The sins that you were falling for over and over again, do not, don't, do not even put them into consideration. The addictions. That way in 2022, don't consider them. Verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. This is a promise that God will do a new thing. This is something new. It is new. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? This is what the scripture says. Shall you not know it? 
when God is doing a new thing, you will know it. Not your enemies, but you. Because the thing that God is going to do is specifically for you. Not your family, but for you. You shall know it. Scripture says, I will even make a road in the wilderness. God goes ahead to assure you that he will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Some of you, you have reached at a point in your life where it seems like you are surrounded by a desert. You are in a wilderness. Not a physical wilderness, but a spiritual wilderness. A place without water. A place without nowhere to run to. It could be in your businesses, in your finances, in your relationships with people. You may have hit a dead end. But the scripture clearly states that God will make a road in the wilderness. He will make a road. So my brothers and sisters, God will make a way for you. Where there seems to be no way, God will make a way. And Jesus refers to himself as the way, the truth, and life. That's, that's why you see you should focus on God. Whatever is happening in your life, some of the things or most of the things are coming to distract you. Yes, they are a distraction. So instead of focusing on them, choose to focus on God. Because there are a lot of things want you to focus on them. There are a lot of things that want your attention. Even the noise that you are hearing right now, it wants your attention. Focus on God. If you focus on God, you will overcome. My brothers and sisters, this is the end of this message. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember that every single day I release these powerful words. Every single day. So if you haven't received the word, just type in my channel name and you will see the new word that I've released for that day. Until next time, God bless you.